Wouldn't it be great to automate the selection of session view clips being displayed on your launch key MK3? It's possible via a Max for Life device of mine. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com. I want to show you a Max for Life device here, which you can use to change the selection of the scenes and grids and tracks you are be having represented on the two rows here of your um, launch key mk3 so you can see i'm using a device here and i can change those dynamically i can set those to selected scenes so it will automatically follow where you are playing the grid selection here the um, um, purple um, selection here i mean okay so let me show you how you can set this up so first of all you would need max for live which is included in ableton live suite or can be bought as an add-on towards ableton live standard this is why the device <laughs> will work with ableton 10 11 and 12 i'm using ableton live 12 here so um you just place this on a midi track and you need to make sure that in your midi preferences under link tempo midi that the launch key, key mk3 is being activated here which it is per default okay so that's all you need to do and then if you place the device on here you can see that um, this will display launch key mk3 at the slot you selected in your midi preferences here you need to select the launch key mk3 on here and then you are ready to go and now you can see that when i move the track selection here that this will correspond to what's being displayed on the launch key mk3 here and the same goes for the scenes as well so why could this be exciting especially when you're playing live you want stuff to be selected automatically you don't want to start navigating um, too much here you might just want to trigger a few things on the clip section here but have stuff maybe automated so for example if we have um, playing clip being selected here we could just set up a clip here and if this clip is playing the representation here will automatically jump to the playing clip already as soon as this clip is playing and you can make movements this way here so there is another possibility here so for example selected scene would mean always the scene which is selected so if i select a different scene here the grid will follow now and this can become really handy if you have follow actions being activated Per default, let's have a look here. So if we have follow actions running, so we have the first scene playing and then it's switching to the next scene and then it's switching to the next scene and so on and so forth. So per default, unfortunately, Ableton Live is not following and selecting the um, the scene which was triggered by a follow action but you could set up this with another device of mine which is actually a donation based pay what you like uh, auto select automatic select and cue the next scene so if i have this sitting on a track which is this track here and i need to have a clip on each track so what's happening now is if i play a scene here it's always um selecting the next scene which is in line so this is independent from the uh, grid control device here this is just for you to make sure that when you hit a scene and the next one is being triggered that it will select the next scene here automatically so now if i have this happening this technique happening here plus I have the selected scene automatically on the grid movement being activated here. Um, the following is happening now. If I play the first scene, you can see 
it's representing my next scene on here and it's always jumping to the next one automatically so this way you always have the next scene lined up here if you want to step forward if you want to live loop record something on here always on your mk3 launch key mk3 the right scene is being selected here so there is one more thing where it becomes pretty handy so for example if you want to say well actually i have one section in my live set where i want to play stuff in let's stop our clips for now if i want to for example have this grid being uh, starting on track number two and then in a different section i want um, this part here the grid starting on this section here so maybe let's delete a few clips just to make things obvious when we are changing now so we still have selected scene on let's turn that off for now so if we are with the grid if we are here um, starting here let's move the grid up so we want to move up a few scenes actually down so now we have this part selected here and maybe in a different section you want to jump to this part here so what you could do is you could actually automate this selection here and go to this slot here so track 10 scene 8 instead of and let's go back track 2 scene six okay so now we want to set up an autumn one midi dummy clip which will trigger this section here so let's set up one midi clip here let's turn off the loop and let's go to the envelope section this obviously looks a little bit different in ableton live 12 than it looks in ableton 10 and 11 i mean just the selection of the envelopes here so we select the grid mover and we have the grid tracks, which is in this case number two. And we have the grid scenes, which is in that case number six. And we set this in this clip on the far top left here. And maybe on this clip here, we want to change the selection to uh, grid number, scene number eight. Let's put that in, edit value select eight and on track number 10 so if we select grid tracks and put in a breakpoint here uh, it's quite small i hope you can see that so and then added value and put in number 10. so now we have two clips on here which are automating those parameters the tracks and the scene selection, the starting point, like the top left corner of your red box or pink box uh, in this case. So if I select this one here, it will trigger this position. If I play this clip here, as soon as this clip is playing, it will select this selection here. So if you want to set up things where you're actually moving, not only from uh, scene top to scene down or jumping to a specific scene if you want to jump to um, certain tracks here this is possible with this device the grid mover version one follow the links in the video description again you would need max for life to make use of that will work in 10 11 and 12. this is about the launch key um, mk3 so this has been tested now and it works with that obviously there are more devices here the launch pads um and some other the apc minis etc this grid mover works for quite a lot of devices and there is a list of all compatible devices being shown on the selling page if you just follow the link in the video description take care bye bye